Hi friends. Today we are going to see the topic about strings in Python. How to use the string? What do you mean by string? String it is a group of characters are formed into a word is called as string. So now I am going to do string operations in Python. So first you can open Python IDLE. There are three forms of strings we can able to define single quoted string, double quoted string and triple quoted string. There is no difference at all these three things. So all are same but the representation is different. Now I am going to do one thing. A equal to I am single quoted string. Now I type the value string a equal to I am single quoted string and b equal to I am double quoted string and c equal to I am triple quoted string. So instead of writing this I copy the string a equal to I am single quoted string double quoted string and uh, triple quoted string. So I change the value in second line. I am double quotes and I am triple quoted. So at the starting and end I put the string triple quotes. If I give double quotes it will see we can able to see black color format. So I need to give another one quote triple quotes then only it will so considered as a string okay so now I change b equal to double quoted string and c equal to triple quoted string Okay, so now I'm going to print the value print of A, print of B, and print of C. So this is simple program for string. So now I'm going to run before running the string program. I'm going to save in test folder where I was created in directory. So I gave the name as string. After saving you can run the module or press F5. The result will be I am single quoted string, I am double quoted string and I am triple quoted string. That's all. So now I am going to do one thing. I am single quoted string. In front of quoted I am going to show one single quote. In front of double quotes I am going to put double quotes and in front of triple quotes I am going to put triple quote so these three I need to be printed at the run top at the run time so what I'm going to do so single quotes if I give single quotes it will consider I am single this is one string so I need to avoid this I use escape sequence in front of single quotes double quotes and triple quotes Okay, so now it will consider I am single quoted string. The entire line will be considered single string. Now you can able to see after the uh, giving this code, you can save the file and run. I am single quoted string and double quoted string and triple quoted string. You can able to see at the screen by using escape sequence. Okay, by escape sequence only you can able to use quotes inside the string okay now I'm going to do escape sequence I'm going to use escape sequence at 
anywhere in the string how it is possible so how can achieve this in front of triple i use escape sequence in front of single i use escape sequence in front of double i use escape sequence what will happen after that you can save and run you can see the result what it will source i am single quoted string in front of single slash will appear i am double slash will appear i am triple slash t means it is a escape another one escape sequence so for that reason it gives one space so we need to avoid this we can add another one escape sequence double slash so now you can run and show the result what will happen at the run time so now it shows i am slash single quoted string i am slash double quoted string i am slash double quoted string okay this is the math basic methods how to use a string so now i am going to do another one example for string to find the length of the string so i am going to do find the length of a the string so after change the code you can save and run the program it will come the results the length i am single quote string length is 27 the rest of the result will show i am double quote and triple quote if you need you can also find the length of b and length of c so we don't want so for that reason we can move for next concept how to concatenate two string so i am going to concatenate two string new and yark so a equal to new within single quotes and b equal to yark within double quotes after that i am going to add new yark a plus b it is similar addition operation we can able to do concatenate two string print of a plus b and after that you can save the program compile or run the module so we are not compiling we are using interpreter so now you can able to see new dark the concatenated string your kit is a b string and i am triple quoted string it is c we are having the print statement at in our program now i am going to concatenate with integer so how it is possible to achieve this goal so before that i need to print more than one time this string how it is possible so i am using the string new i need to print 10 times what what i will do print of a plus a plus a plus a plus how many times i want i can able to use i want to use and the result will shows new 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 how many times i print it will print the result that's all this is simple one so now i am going to add with integer how i can able to achieve this see here so a plus 10 i gave in the result so sorry a into 10 instead of giving a plus a plus a plus a so i gave a into 10 it will print the result 10 time if suppose i need to print the 100 times i give a into 100 if i need 1000 time need to print a into 1000 that's all the result will be 1000 time so i'm going to concatenate with string and integer so now a equal to new and b equal to i gave an integer value b so now i add a plus b it will show an error because we need to cast type cast 
which variable need to type cast b because we are doing string operation b need to type cast so integer value type casted as string so for that reason we need to type cast b as string so the keyword used to type cast str is used to type cast b str of b So, I am going to print of A plus str of B. Okay. So, now the variable B integer type cast status at the runtime string. So, now we can able to see the result new file. Okay, that's all. The B will be printed and the C also will be printed in table quoted string. So that's all. So if you're having any doubts, please contact me. I think, hope you enjoyed this video. If you are having any doubts, please put the comments in comment box. Or otherwise, you can mail my mail id pullovan at gmail.com. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for seeing.